People of Earth, as you know, a viral epidemic has recently ravaged the globe. The United States Department of Apocalypse Preparation has been monitoring the situation thoroughly, and tonight, we broadcast live to any and all survivors a scientific demonstration that may bring an end to the pain and suffering of our brave and resilient human race. Before you is patient 119, one of the first people to be diagnosed with the virus. While under our observation, my colleague Ryan Marsh and myself, Charlie Boyd, have formulated an antidote to combat her viral ailments. For full transparency, we've assembled a panel of the world's remaining minds in medicine to oversee our demonstration. I mean, you did it! How did you do it? Have you been outside the bunker? You guys are heroes! Thank you, Samuel Evans. We couldn't have done it without you. Mind if we talk for a moment? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. So, what are we considering for our next steps? I've met some really interesting people out there. Thank you, Samuel Evans. That will be all. What? The world's been saved. Your employment in our department is no longer necessary. I'm being fired? Terminated. Well, how, but, but we're friends! Thank you, Samuel Evans. Your contribution has been truly invaluable to the furthering of our cause. I... I... I don't... I don't care if they don't need me. In fact, Good, good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start my own story. I'm gonna spread my wings. Oh my God, Sam Evans, you're a hero. You saved the world. I used to be, kid. I used to be. The Ryan and Charlie were like stupid. Sam <laughs> 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 Evans, your animal says grave. No. It, it weeps. Why does Sam Evans weep? Uh -huh. Ah, we know. Perhaps a limerick will cheer its spirits. Who, who are you? What, what? How? How do you know my name? Why, I am Uranimos, Damon of the Netherworld, Lord of Skins, and your friend. Woo! Remember you nothing of our exploits? How we so nobly saved your best friends Carly and Brian from certain doom in the throes of battle? Those best friends? Those best friends just fired me, pal, okay? No, buzz off, will ya? Everything around Uranimos began to rewind. Ah! As if Kronos himself were manipulating the hands of time. Leave me alone! Please! Uranimos understands not, but more urgently, Sam Evans must return home! That place isn't my home. Not anymore. Uranimos has never before fed on, and Uranimos has fed on every living thing in this world and the world below. So you're telling me Ryan and Charlie have been body snatched? Hi. I knew it! I knew they'd never willingly turn their backs on me! Yes! Sam Evans believes Uranimos! Yes! Okay! Now, we're the real Ryan and Charlie. They've got to be in the bunker somewhere. They need my help! Uranimos will scout ahead and report back. Yes! Yes, Master. Everything is going according to plan. Our intellect has proven useful to the humans. Good. The Armada approaches. Commence phase three. We await your arrival, arrival master. master. Long live the Gildax Rex. Heads. Tails.
That's crazy, man. 50-50 odds, and you've gotten 10 wrong in a row. We're going to die here, Ryan. We're going to die here, and nobody's going to know because well, there's other us's out there living our lives and doing our jobs and taking all the credit for... Saving the world? Yeah, something like that. You really think we're cut out for that, huh? It would have been nice to give it a shot. I mean, that's what we're here for, right? To do something? Anything, really, but we blew it. What do you mean, man? DOAP, get the job done. Yeah, they did. We blew it. I mean, is that so bad? Look at us. Look, we look hot as hell. I mean, we're heroes. I don't know. I don't like the way I'm smiling. Too much teeth. Yeah, I, I think I'm a little closer. So what? Is, is this it? Is this our greater contribution to society? To just sit down here in a bunker and write it all out? That's how we've always done it. Hello, my name is Dr. Hector Dulich. What? If you're watching this, your alien counterparts may have kidnapped you and taken over your jobs. What's going on? You may be a bit confused and wondering what's going on. Well, Ryan and Charlie, although it may seem hopeless, I'm here to help. According to my calculations, you are the only two people in the universe capable of stopping events of such catastrophic proportions. Great, so we really did blow it. The most important asset you have is each other. And as long as you two are together, the universe will have another chance at survival. Wh what is he talking about? I don't you know. and your friends Shh. still have a large part to play, so don't give up yet. I knew my best friends in the whole wide world wouldn't ever do that to me. Sean Evans. Sean Evans. Thank God you're here to save us. Yeah, that's me. Yes, Sean Evans, here to save the day. All right, so what's the plan? The plan? The plan. Plan? Uh, yeah, like, what are we gonna do? Well, I, I don't know, I didn't really think this far ahead. I was kind of, you know, break my friends out of prison, and then we kind of see where it goes from there. See where it goes from there? Yeah, well, okay, look, all the little gremlin told me was that oh there was- Oh my god, we're screwed. We're screwed. Sean Evans. That's quite enough. Hands up, single file. You're too late, Samuel Evans. Our people are already on the way. Who's the Samuel Evans? Silence! We have long scoured the galaxy to find a suitable planet to call our new home. Our world is dying, far past the point of salvation. You fail to comprehend the facets of our decision making. The desperation of our actions is not unfounded, though you might see it that way. Well, you could have asked first. What do you mean, Samuel Evans? Yes, why do you speak as if you understand our motivations? Because... Because I understand what it's like to want to protect those you care about. And because, thanks to you, I understand what it's like to not have a home. And, you know, that's in the past. We can all be friends. Right. We can live together and there's plenty of room here. Yeah, right? I mean, you guys saved the world. We could never do something like that. And we've tried before. We have? We have? We have, you and I, Charlie, and you too, Sean. I've been thinking about what Doolidge said, and it's starting to make sense to me now. We need each other, all of us. We haven't been able to save the world, but you guys did. And now we can be the ones to save you, but we've got to do it together, or else all this is just going to keep playing out over and over again. We have been moved by your speech. Yes, it has caused us to reevaluate our prior assumptions about humans and your species capacities for friendship. We accept your generous offer and look forward to inhabiting this planet together in peace. The Armada has arrived. The eradication phase begins at once. Prepare yourselves for the plasma rays. Long live Gilgat's rest. 
shit. There goes that theory. Sorry about that. It really did sound nice, huh? Well, goodbye. Guys, guys, it'll be all right. If we all hug each other really tight, we'll all be all right. <laughs>